Hi kids, and welcome to the 13th Virtual Mini Mix. In our last assembly, we were learning about Advent, about preparing for and anticipating the coming of Christ. And we learned that during Advent, as well as looking back and celebrating the birth of Jesus, we also look forward, anticipating his second coming. Now, hopefully you've had a chance to see that assembly, but if you haven't, then I'd encourage you to go and watch it because Advent lasts for almost four weeks. And this year it started on the 29th of November and it continues all the way up to Christmas Eve. And it's really important that we prepare for Christmas and the coming of a king. Now, all of my previous assemblies are available on our YouTube channel and all the information is below this video. Don't forget to keep an eye out for Larry the Lettuce during this assembly and next week I'll be showing you all of the times that he's appeared during this half term. It's time for the countdown. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's time for assembly. Oh yes. In today's assembly we're going to be learning all about Christingles. Some of you may have made a Christingle before, but don't worry if you haven't. I'm hoping that by the time we get to the end of today's assembly, that you'll know how to make one and also be able to remember what each part represents. Now our assembly today is going to be in a slightly different order. We're still going to have a quiz, but it will be near the end and all of the questions are going to be about Christingles. So when I start explaining the Christingle, you'll need to listen really carefully because that will give you all the answers to the questions. But before we do that, I'd like to read a few verses from the Bible. In John chapter 1 verse 5, it says this. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never put it out. Then from verse 6, it goes on to say, God sent his messenger, a man named John, who came to tell people about the light, so that all should hear the message and believe. He himself was not the light, but he came to tell people about the light. This was the real light, the light that comes into the world and shines on all people. This Bible reading tells us that God sent a man. Can you remember what his name was? That's right, his name was John, or some of you may have heard him called John the Baptist. He came to tell people about the light so that everyone would believe. John wasn't the light, he only came to tell others about the light. Who was the light that John the Baptist came to tell people about? Any guesses? That's right, it was Jesus, the one true light who gives light to everyone. At this time of year, we start to see lights everywhere. Lights that remind us of the coming of the true light, which of course is Jesus. We see trees covered in lights, streets that are lined with lights, homes and businesses that are outlined with lights. Some people even spend days or even weeks covering their houses with lights. And one thing that I enjoy doing during Advent is driving around to look at all the beautiful lights and decorations. I wonder how many of us will remember that the lights of this season remind us of the one true light, Jesus, who brought light into the darkness of this world. Now, the reason why I wanted to share those few verses with you will all become clear when I start making my Christingle. But before we do that, I think it's time we sang a song. This song is called Jesus Christ is Coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ is coming, Jesus Christ is coming again, Jesus Christ is coming, Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming, He came to show us all. God's love and grace and mercy, example to us all. Jesus Christ is coming, He came for everyone to guide us on our journey and catch us when we fall. 
Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming. He came to teach us all the right way, not the wrong way. No matter when we call, Jesus Christ is coming. He saved us from our sin. He wiped away the bad things and paid the price in full. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming and lives forevermore. Our guide and friend and savior, the answer to it all. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming again. So now I'm going to have a go at building a Christingle, and here are the things that I'm going to need. An orange. Some red ribbon or red tape. Four cocktail sticks. Some dried fruits and sweets. And a candle or glow stick. So what do all these things represent? Well, let's start with the orange. The orange is round and reminds us of the world, the world that God created. Next is the red ribbon or red tape. The red colour reminds us of the blood of Jesus when he died on the cross for us and for all the people in the world. It reminds us that Jesus' love reaches right around the whole world like a great big hug, just like the ribbon reaches right around the orange. We then need to push the cocktail sticks into the orange. These remind us of the four corners of the earth, north, south, east and west, and also the four seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Another reminder that Jesus' love stretches around the whole world all of the time. Next, we push the dried fruits and sweets onto the cocktail sticks. They remind us of the wonderful gifts of creation, and how God has provided everything that we need. It might also remind us of the fruits of the Spirit. Can you remember what any of them are? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness and goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. Lastly, we need to put the candle in the top of the orange. The candle represents Jesus. Jesus, the light of the world. And earlier I read from John chapter 1 verse 5 where it said, The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never put it out. Jesus is the light of the world and our Christingle helps us to remember that he gave his love to the whole world and that that love is available to all of us unconditionally and nothing can separate us from that love if we choose to follow him. Now, I just want to do a little recap of our Christingle. So we started with the orange, which represented the world. Then, of course, we put the red ribbon or the red tape around it, which reminds us of the blood of Jesus and reminds us that Jesus's love is like giving the, the whole world a great big hug. Then, of course, we added the four sticks, which remind us of the four corners of the earth, north, east, south and west, and also the four seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Then we added the dried fruits and the sweets, 
which remind us of creation and the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And lastly, we added the candle, which reminds us of Jesus and how Jesus is the light of the world. Now, if you'd like to have a go at making a Christingle, but you don't have all the necessary ingredients, then why not be creative? Perhaps you could use a different fruit for the world. Or something different that represents love to you instead of using red ribbon. It can be whatever you want it to be, whatever helps you remember the meaning. I hope you've all been listening carefully as it's now time for the quiz. Remember, all the questions are going to be about Chris Dingles. And here's the first one. What does the orange represent? The world. What does the red ribbon represent? The blood of Jesus. What does the red ribbon remind us of? Jesus giving the world a great big hug. Why do we have four cocktail sticks? To remind us of the four corners of the earth, north, south, east and west, and the four seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. What do the dried fruits and sweets remind us of? The wonderful gifts of creation and the fruits of the Spirit. Can you remember any of the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness and goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. What does the candle represent? Jesus, the light of the world. Our Bible reading earlier was from John chapter 1, verse 5. Can you complete the sentence? The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has never put it out. Well, how did you get on? Did you get most of the answers right? If you manage to answer the bonus question, then you can have two bonus points. Well, I'm hoping that you didn't find that quiz too difficult and that you now all have a better idea about what each part of the Christingle represents. You may even be able to make one at home, or perhaps you can draw and colour in your very own Christingle poster. Well, now that we've learned all about Christingles, I think it's time that we sang about them. This is another new song, and it's called The Christingle Jingle. <laughs> Christingo jingle, Christingo jingle, we share the light of Christ. Christingo jingle, Christingo sing, turn darkness into light. Christingo jingle, Christingo jingle, we share the light of Christ. Christingo jingle, Christingo sing, turn darkness into light. Reminds us of the world, the world that God created and entrusted to our soul. The red ribbon tied around it, showing us that Jesus' blood 
was shed for each and every one to show us of his love. Christingo jingo, Christingo jingo, shed the light of Christ. Christingo jingo, Christingo sing, turn darkness into light. Sticks, they are the seasons with dried fruits and sweets on top. Remind us that creation is great and rich and lush. With the candle in the middle that is shining oh so bright. God sent his own son Jesus Christ and darkness turns to light. Christingo jingo, Christingo jingo, share the light of Christ. Christingo jingo, Christingo sing, turn darkness into light. The Christingo helps remind us that God's love is here to stay. It's not just here at Christmas in a stable full of hay. Jesus came to earth and showed us how to live and love and learn And that the love of Father God can shine through everyone Christingo jingo, Christingo jingo, share the light of Christ Christingo jingo, Christingo sing, turn darkness into light Christingo jingo, Christingo jingo, share the light of Christ Christingo jingo, Christingo sing, turn darkness into light. I hope you enjoyed singing the Christingo jingle, and now we're going to sit really quietly. We're going to put our hands together, we're going to close our eyes, and I'm going to say a prayer for everybody here. So let's do Let Us Pray. Father God, as we prepare for Christmas, we pray that each and every one of us will know the joy that Jesus, the light of the world, brings. And we pray that we'll want to learn more about him. We also ask that you'll continue to bless all of our friends, all of our family and everybody involved here in our lovely school. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to say together the Mini Mix Lord's Prayer. Heavenly Father of all, we honour you. We accept you as our King. May we follow your ways so the earth becomes like heaven. Give us all we need for our minds and bodies. Forgive us all that we do wrong as we forgive other people. Do not test us more than we can cope with and keep us from evil. The kingdom is yours, the power is yours and the glory is yours. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed today's assembly learning all about Christingles and what each part represents. And I hope you get the opportunity to make one and maybe explain what you've learned to somebody at home. But did you spot Larry the Lettuce today? Well, we'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. Shout outs, I've only got five to do today, so here we go. My first shout out is for year two, and Miss Davis, Miss Entwistle, Mrs. Bernard, and Mrs. Cartwright, and everybody at Holy Trinity Church School. They wrote and said, we are loving your worships. Thank you. Well, thank you for sending me that message. That's a big shout out to year two, and Miss Davis, Miss Entwistle, Mrs. Bernard, and Mrs. Cartwright, and everyone at Holy Trinity Church School. My second shout out today is for year five and hedgehog class at St Nicholas Church of England School. They wrote and said, Dear Daniel, thank you for your assemblies. We really miss you coming to our school. We love the quizzes and looking out for Larry the Lettuce. We like how well you can play the guitar and the time and effort you put in for us. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for sending me that message. So that's a big shout out to year five and hedgehog class at St Nicholas Church of England School.
My third shout out today is for Mrs. Sage and Owls, Kestrels, Hawks and Eagles classes at Hazelby Bryan Primary School. They wrote and said, Dear Daniel, the whole school have been watching all of your assemblies in our class bubbles. The children love them and particularly love spotting Larry the Lettuce. So a big shout out for Mrs. Sage and Owls, Kestrels, Hawks and Eagles at Hazelby Bryan Primary School. My fourth shout out today is for Miss Bailey and the Year 3s at Ashland First School. So big shout out to Miss Bailey and everybody at Ashland's First School. And my final shout out today is for Mrs Patterson and all the teachers, staff and pupils at St Andrews in Weymouth. They wrote and said, we are really loving your assemblies at the moment. You are a popular feature at St Andrews. Swordfish Year 6 class would like to say a particular thank you to you. They wrote and said, we love your assemblies, they are fun and we enjoy the songs too. We love looking for Larry the Lettuce and we like Lettuce Pray. Please keep doing them. Well, don't worry, I will. So that's a big shout out to Mrs Patterson and all the teachers, staff and pupils at St Andrews in Weymouth. If you'd like a shout out in a future assembly, then please ask your teachers to message me. And of course, all you need to do is look in the description below this video and press the contact me button. And if you're in a school that I haven't visited before, I don't know who you are. And so I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think of the assemblies and I'd love to find out a bit more about your school and where you're to. So please send me a message. Now, any shout outs I receive now will be called out in the new year because by the time you're watching this assembly, I've already filmed the Christmas special and that's next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you'd like to find out how you can sponsor the work that we do, then please visit our website or click on the sponsor link, which is also below this video. Our assembly next week is the Christmas special, when we'll have the chance to sing the Chris Stingle song again, as well as seeing a compilation of all the times that Larry the Lettuce has appeared during this half term. But that's all we've got time for today, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!